below the net. You a rookie, I'm a vet. That's why I got a Glock. it's nyla welcome back to my channel so today i'm bringing y'all another wig video if you haven't checked out my last one i'll have it in the eye so check that out so today i decided to do a blue wig i asked y'all what colors i should do and y'all gave me a whole list so i decided to start my list off with blue so that's what i'm bringing y'all today today's video is sponsored by ally grace hair so shout out to them for providing me with this wig for today's video and if y'all want to see how I dyed this hair, let's go ahead and jump right into it. box comes with a few things firstly of course being the wig but i took that out so i can work on it it also comes with a pamphlet so basically this has information on how to care for the wig and all that good stuff so that's what um really consists in here gives you some information about ally gray's a coupon code all that good stuff so that's what comes in the pamphlet and then they also give you a pair of lashes so this is what they look like y'all know i've been loving lashes these are like more dramatic i guess you could say but yes yeah, so the hair specs this is a 613 brazilian straight wig and 18 inches and i believe the density is 150. it's not for me to say you this is what the wig looks like fresh out of the box i did nothing to the wig so it's 18 inches like i said so it's pretty long not the longest i've ever gotten but um, yeah, so this is what the lace looks like. These are the colors that I used on the wig. They'll be listed in the description box if you guys are interested in what colors I used. So I started by combing the hair back and then I just sprayed the lace with got to be glued so that the lace wouldn't get dyed with the dye. Can I put is it too As for the first method of doing this wig, I did like the regular dyeing method, I guess you could say, that I did with my last one. But then shortly after, I decided to just watercolor it because it just took way too much time to do it all this way. So I ended up watercoloring it in the end. No, no, My first take of like doing this hair I wanted it to be ombre but that didn't really work out because the colors like blended together once I let it sit so uh, I ran out of dye anyway basically I was going for something else and got something completely different but it turned out to be cute anyway so I wasn't really bothered by it but as y'all can see here I'm like doing the light color at the top and then the darker color at the bottom but I ran out of the lighter color so I just decided to just watercolor it and get it over with. So like I was saying, after dyeing a little bit of the back, I just decided to watercolor it. So like with the remaining dye I had left over, I just put that in the bowl and just dip the hair.
as y'all can tell while i was watercoloring it the middle wasn't really getting dyed so basically i just opened the wig a little bit so that the dye could get on the areas that were a little bit lighter and more green instead of blue so i did that and then i let it sit for a little bit and then i rinsed it out As I was rinsing it, I kind of saw it didn't really look ombre, but the back was obviously darker and then the front's a little bit lighter. So throughout the wig, there are like different streaks of blue, which I kind of liked. So when I was rinsing it, I wasn't really feeling it. But once I blow dried it and everything, I started liking it. After I rinsed it because I'm super impatient, I went ahead and blow dried it, which took forever. But after it was done, I just went ahead and flat ironed it. This is the flat iron I use, y'all can find it on Amazon and I'll have the direct link down below if you guys want to purchase it. Also, um, I use 410 on the hair so it can be as hot as possible to get it as straight as possible because I wanted it bone straight. stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. This is what the final product turned out to look like so I know this is not really what I wanted but I still like how it came out so if y'all want more wig videos let me know down below and I'll definitely make more for y'all give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in my next video bye guys Mwah.